We are taking notes on factoring out the GCF. So go ahead and title it, factor out the GCF. So we have to remember what the GCF is. It is the greatest common factor. So that is the number that is in common with all of the numbers that you're finding the GCF of, and it's the largest common factor greatest common factor. So it's the largest number that they have in common. So let's see, let's do 12 and 28. We want to find the GCF of 12 and 28. They're both divisible by two, but is that the greatest number that by four? So what we could do is we could list out all the factors of 12 and 28 and then pick the greatest. So we know we're not going to include one, but one is in, in common. Uh, so two, three, four, six, and 12. So those are the numbers that evenly divide it. And then 28, we know two. Will three go into it? No. Will four? What else? Two, uh, four times what gets 28? Seven. Seven. And then two times what gives 28? 14. Oh, and I also need to include 28 in there. So we look for the largest common factor. So they have two in common and they have four in common, their largest is four. So the GCF is four. Okay, what about X squared and X to the fifth? We wanna know what the largest common factor of a variable is. So if we list these out, x squared, just x and x, right? It's just x. x times x or x squared. Those are the factors that will divide it evenly. So x squared, the factors are x, because you could do x times x, or x squared, x squared times 1 x to the fifth, the factors would be x, because you could do x times x to the fourth, because you add your exponents. You could do x squared, x to the third, x to the fourth, and x to the fifth. So what is our GCF? X squared. So if you look at these, we pick, the, the GCF is the smaller of the exponents. We can also do a GCF of, let's say, um, let me come up with a problem. 36x to the third and 14x. So we'll want to do our numbers and our variables separately. So 36, 
list them all out. What, two, three, four, we'll divide it evenly. And so if you're not sure, you can use your calculator. Six. Six. Nine. Twelve. Eighteen. And thirty-six. And then we have fourteen. This one's a little bit simpler. We just have two, seven, and 14. So what's our GCF? Two. two. So we did the number. Now we need to do the variable. So our two are x and x cubed, or x cubed and x. We saw from the other one that the GCF is the smaller of the exponents. So the smaller of the exponents is x. And the reason is because this would be x, x squared, x cubed. And this would just be x. So the GCF of x cubed and x is the smaller of the exponents. So it's just x. So our GCF is 2x. So what we are going to do is undo the distributive property by factoring. So when you distribute, let's say we have 3x parentheses, 2x squared plus x minus 5. We've learned the distributive property, so we're going to go through this, and then we're going to undo it. So you distribute it in, or remember how I was teaching you all the factoring box, the box method? So this would be 3x, this would be 2x squared plus x minus 5. So you can use distributive or you can use the box. I'm going to show you the box though. 3x times 2x squared. 3 times 2 is 6. x times x squared. x cubed. Then we have 3x times x. 3x squared. Then we have 3x times a negative 5. Negative 15x. And on one like this, we don't have to uh, combine anything. There's nothing to combine. So we've seen how we can distribute or use the box. So now we are going to factor. We're going to undo it. 6x cubed plus 3x squared minus 15x. So this is what we did. We distributed. Now we're going to undo by factoring. So we are going to factor out the GCF. So we're going to look for what the GCF of this is. So 6, 3, and negative 15. What do they have in common? 3. 3 will evenly divide all of them, and it's the greatest. So 3. And then they have an x cubed, an x squared, and an x. So they all have in common at least one X. So we can factor out an X. So we know our GCF. So now we're going to put that outside the parentheses like this. There are one, two, three terms. So inside the parentheses, there will also be one, two, three terms. So we need to fill in what those terms are. And the way you do that is by dividing. Because remember, a factor evenly divides 
something. So we are going to divide each of these by 3x. to get what's on the inside. So see how I put over 3x, over 3x, over 3x? So let's look at the first term. So 6x cubed divided by 3x. So you divide 6 by 3, 2. Then you have x cubed and x. So that's, you subtract them because this would be like a 1. So you have three, you take one away, x squared. Then you have three x squared over x. Well, the threes will cancel, right? So that's just one. And then x squared and x. You get x. And the sign that goes in here, since this was positive and we didn't divide by a negative, this will also be positive. See how I put a positive there? And then the last one is negative 15 divided by 3. Negative 5. X and X cancels out. So check it out. So see how these are the same? 3X on the outside, 2X squared on the inside, plus X minus 5. So we multiplied and then we factored. We did something and then we undid that. So the answer is this whole thing. Because what we did was we factored it. The GCF is this, but this is our factor. All right, so let's look at another problem. Mm -hmm. You'll have a question like this. All right, so actually on Delta Math, it starts out level one. So let me show you what level one is. This is a problem on there. 4X plus 4. So this is just a binomial. That one was a trinomial. That was a hard one. So we're going to take it back to level one. And let's see, what is our GCF? What will divide 4x and 4 evenly? Four, because it's a greatest. They don't have any x's in common, so it's just four. So we'll put four on the outside. Parenthesis. And then see how there are two? terms. So inside the parentheses will be two terms. So like we did up here is we divided by the GCF. So I'm going to divide by the GCF. The GCF is four. Mm -hmm. So see how the fours will cancel, just leaving us with X. Fours will cancel, but they don't cancel out to be zero. Four divided by four is one. So we'll put plus one, four x plus one. Would we just have to put x on delta math? Or can't do it? You can just put x. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either answer is correct. All right, let's see another one. Twenty one x minus six. First thing, find your GCF. 21x minus 6. So if you have to, you can list out your numbers. I think your calculator also has GCF on here. You want to see something cool? Okay. <coughs> you have to go to catalog. So second zero is catalog. And I want to go to GCF. So I'm going to find, sorry, I went to catalog. GCF is, let me see, let me find G. G. Um, oh, LCD, LCD instead? Least common denominator. So, let's see, least common multiple. Mm, nope, that's not it. Okay, I don't remember. Mm -mm. No. You found GCD? Oh, yeah. But that's great. Let me see if that works. 21, comma, six, uh, negative 6. Okay. 
That works. GCD works. Greatest common denominator? A uh, comma is right here, right above seven. You can't do it with the variables, though. All right, so it is three. You can use that. So you went to catalog and did GCD. All right, so we're going to put a three, parenthesis. There are two terms here, so there will be two terms inside the parenthesis. Divide by three, divide by three. 21x divided by 3 is 7x. Negative 6 divided by 3, negative 2. 7x minus 2. All right, let's do another one. 32 plus 40x. So it doesn't matter what order they're in. So we're still going to do the same thing, GCF. If you want to use your calculator and do GCD of 32 and 40, you can. If you already know it, that's fine too. Eight. So it's eight parentheses. We have two terms on the inside. Divide by eight. Four. Forty X over eight plus five X. Okay. I think y'all got the hang of that. Okay, let me do another one. Um, 21 X to the four plus 70 X. So seven is the largest factor. And then what about the variables? What do I do with that? It'll just be X. Okay, so we have seven X. Parentheses, there's two terms on the inside. Seven X, seven X. So we're dividing by seven X. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And then x4 over x. Uh, x cubed. X cubed. X to the third power. Yep. X and x are going to cancel out. And then we have 70 over 7. And that plus 10. All right. So your assignment is on delta math. Make sure to show your work.